everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video on my channel and today I've got a special guest on Pokemon X mm. Hello. and his name is Bryce okay it's not really big of a deal yes it is okay. yes get them it today um, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Poke Radar for all of you that do not know how to use it so currently my friend is in Route 5 yeah, I personally think this is the best place because you've got um, loads of pieces of grass. I use this piece here. First of all, you want to go into your bag, and or you if you have, or if you have it locked onto your Y button, click yes. Y, and then you want to go to click the direction. Uh, it's in. Uh, not a max motion. You want to go to a. Uh, um, it's in key. Is it? No. First, you want. Yeah, you can. So you want to have a look, if, to get this um, item you need to be at the end of the game, you have to complete the game, and then go to Professor Sycamore's lab, and you get the Poker Raider, it looks like this. And while you're in here, you may as well go over to your uh, one with the Pokeball, and you want to put a... Um, Shadow Mewtwo! Okay, that's a record. That you want to put a um, a repel on. I use max repels, but mine are somewhere here. As a super, I use max repels because they're a lot better. Uh, if I can find it, um, it should be here. Max repel. Here we go. Okay. So, so after you've used the max repel, you can wander into the grass. So you and want then to you go into the grass, radar. and you want to click Y and go over to my radar. But it says. Mom's word echoes. Bryce is a time and place for everything, but not now. So what you want to do is you want to use the um, the plus that there and um, move about to using the plus. You need to move have moved about fifty steps. I find it easy to just go up and down a piece of grass and go to the middle, click Y, go to it, and grass will shake. But you see, if I use the joystick, it, there will not be, no Pokemon will be there. But if I do it again, then um, what will happen is um, uh, you... A Pokemon will probably show up. Yes, if... unless the grass is not shaking enough. So if you go into this, so you want to go to the grass that's most shaking. Don't go for grass that's right next to you, like... A couple and he has just a run into through. Now, oh, well, this is a way of farming shinies. That's the whole point of me doing this. Um, and you have to beat every single one you meet. Um, so, um, Sky Uppercut. I use fur, fur I just used a uh, Sky Uppercut on Fur Fur. So, uh, Fur Fur fainted. So now, if you see, straight away more patches will shake. Now, look. No, um, go for, go you might want to go one. for the one furthest away. Yeah. Because that increases your odds of finding And also, shiny. don't go for ones that are right next to each other. So, so right now, I'm hunting for a shiny fur through. And the um, thing is, if you use the joystick, it will break your chain. So, you always need to use the D pad. Um, the D -pad. And you always need to beat it. Right. Use that. You shadow me to attack. It's super effective. He fur fruit fainted. No, fur fruit. How could a fur fruit be faster than a blazer kin? It just doesn't make sense. You should have mega it. Mm. Yeah, but it's just a waste of time. And um, you, you sound just like Paul saying that. Yeah, I know. I see. I just used the joystick, so we um, got rid of it. Um. Um. So. That was your kind of your guide on shiny hunting with the Dex Nav. But now, um, you just no, not the Dex Nav, the Poke Radar. Yeah. <laughs> and now you Pokemon X and Y. No, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like Adam will say in a minute. But if you do want to see more shiny huntings, I will be there with Adam on it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Yes, we do hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, we'll see you in another video soon. See Goodbye. Ya. Oh.